Ding. Hi guys, welcome back to 68th part of the Arduino tutorials. In my previous videos, we have worked on Hall Effect Sensor and also did some projects. If you have missed those videos, you can check out our Arduino tutorial playlist from the link in the description. So in this video, we'll start with one more component, which is water level sensor. There are different types of water level sensors available, but for demonstration purpose, I've selected this P43 water level floating switch. So first, we'll understand some basics of the sensor. And at the end of this video, we'll interface the sensor with the Arduino board and make a simple project on detecting the water level using a buzzer. This sensor is nothing but a digital switch which is activated using a magnet. It consists of a read switch and a float with magnet inside. When there is low fluid level, the float goes to the bottom side. So the read switch will be in the off state. When the liquid level rises, the float goes to the top. In this case, the read switch will be in the on state. So in this way, choosing two different states, zero and one, you can easily detect the change in the liquid level. So this is about the basic working principle of the sensor. Moving further, for the practical, we need Arduino board, P43 float sensor switch, and a small buzzer. I purchased all these project components from flyrobo.in. They have very huge collection of components and the prices are also reasonable compared to other platforms. Make sure you explore their products. I leave the link in the description box. Next on the connections, there are two wires from the sensor. One goes to Arduino ground and other one to Arduino digital pin 2. For the buzzer, the positive terminal goes to digital pin 11 and negative to ground. That's all the connection. I'll also leave the circuit diagram link in the description box for your reference. Moving on to the code, since the sensor is nothing but a digital switch, for better understanding, you can also watch one of our previous tutorial on using digital push button. So then this video will be more clear. I'll also leave the link for that video in the description box. Starting with the declaration, we have connected the sensor pin on digital pin 2 and buzzer on 11. In the setup, we have to set the mode of the sensor as input. So here instead of input, we'll make it input pull up. This is just to avoid the external pull up resistor. So for the buzzer, the pin mode will be output. In the loop, we'll read the sensor pin using digital read function. And we'll store this output of the function to a variable called sensor data. Since we will get only two values 0 and 1, I'll declare with bool data type. Before controlling the buzzer, we'll try to see the values of the sensor on the serial monitor. So I'll add serial.print line and print the same present in this variable. In the setup, also make sure 
to initialize the serial communication. First, we'll upload the code till this point to see the values. I'll open the serial monitor. So when sensor float is at the bottom, we are getting zero. If I take it up, it's changing to one. So zero and one, which is expected. So moving further, I'll add if else well statement to activate the buzzer. When sensor data is high or you can compare with true, use digital write and make the buzzer pin as high. In rest of the case, the buzzer pin will be low. So that's it the code. We'll upload again and see the results. You can also make it sound better with a combination of high low and with delay. We'll add some delay here. which sounds like this. For proper demonstration, I have kept the sensor inside the glass. So once the water level increases and reaches the sensor, the buzzer starts making the sound. So this is how you can use this sensor for detecting the water level. I hope this video was helpful. In my upcoming videos, we'll make one more project on water tank, autofill and cutoff system. Stay tuned and subscribe for more interesting tutorials. For code and circuit of this tutorial you can visit the link in the description box. Thank you for watching.